Hey, Juventini, I hope you're having a great Saturday so far. I'm Alberto. It's March 25th, and I have all this morning's news surfacing around Juventus. All right, North American Juventini, get ready. Is Juve coming to the States this summer? We'll talk about it. Then UEFA opens another investigation against Juve. We'll take a look at that, too. The half-year financials. The latest rumblings above Morata wanting to return to Juventus. Rovella's future and life after Wojciech Szczesny. Who is in the lead to take that role? We'll talk about all of it right now, so let's get into it. All right, everybody, first and foremost, if you enjoy the content, please like the video and, of course, subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get into it. So, North American Juventini, we saw that Juventus came to Los Angeles last summer. It was great times, all right? And are they coming back? Well, we hear Barca's president talking about the connection with Real Madrid and Juventus to play more friendlies in the States. And a little birdie has told me that Juventus will be coming to the States again this summer, this time on the East Coast. But again, we have to wait for confirmation. But stay tuned for that one, everybody. Now, UEFA opening up investigations. Another one, this time tied to the Prisma case. A lot of Juventini confused, thinking, haven't they already done that? Well, they did tying one to the salary case. Now they're opening up another official one because so far they were just keeping tabs on the Prisma one, but there is officially an investigation open now tying to the Prisma case. Again, we're not going to get the answers and everybody seems to feel the same way. We shouldn't be shocked that UEFA is looking to punish Juventus, especially after the breakdown between Andrea Agnelli and Jefferson. So we just have to wait and see what's going to go down one day at a time, one step at a time. All right. But the latest reports are that UEFA has opened one tying to the Prisma case. All right. So we wait and see. The half year financials have come out for Juventus. They're sitting around just over a 29 million euro loss. Now, while still a loss and a deficit, much, much better than the half year report the year prior, which was just over 112 million euros. So while we get frustrated with some of the moves Juve makes in the Mercado and sometimes how our roster sits and whatnot, this is something that has needed to happen since COVID and whatnot. And they've done so by cutting salaries and integrating the young players that is why it has been so huge that Juve next gen has taken off and done well and these players have been ready to integrate this has been helping Juventus here is visual evidence of it working the numbers themselves okay so again still work to be done and we still have to be a little bit patient in terms of some of these contract extensions that we're hearing about namely alexandro in order to split that salary of seven mil to get paid over two years it starts to make sense because they still have work to do all right everybody so remain calm stay patient but juve is on the right track all right so there you have it that's the latest on financials now in terms of morata there has been a lot of rumblings that he wants to return to juventus however Nicolas Guerra coming out today saying that Juventus has absolutely zero interest in returning to Morata. All right, so uh, there you have it. That's what's been going on. The Morata rumors have been surfacing for a couple days. Now, for fun here, and I've asked this poll question out on Twitter, and I'm going to ask everybody here to comment on this one. If it was up to you to spend $8 million to renew uh, Milik or purchase Morata for what's being rumored at 15 million euros, which would you take? And I'm gonna throw in a bonus question. Would you opt out of saying uh, goodbye to either one of those two and take Firmino on a free as he's a free agent? Make sure you drop your answers in the comment section, everybody. Can't wait to hear what you have to say. Now we get to Rovella, the latest on Rovella. Mirko Di Natale reporting that he is obviously going to be returning in the summer to go through training sessions and preseason with Juventus, as are a bunch of other young players, okay? Di Vinter, Ranocchia, and whatnot. But Mirko Di Neta is saying there is a strong chance that Rovella is going to be staying for the season as well next year. Now, again, this is going to be all speculation and everybody's going to have their thoughts. Giovanni Albanese basically said that look for one or potentially two out of the youngsters to be sold. And Rovella, Ranocchia could be a couple of them and whatnot. Nobody's going to know until we get into preseason and probably start going through preseason as to what's going to happen. It's far too early to tell right now. But Rovella, sure, he has a strong chance of staying. He also has a strong chance of potentially being sold. We have to wait and see. For me, personally, 
I hope that he's integrated into the team next season, especially if we are going to be losing a midfielder like uh, Adrian Rabio or whatnot. But again, we'll wait and see what happens. And now, last, certainly not least, life after Wojciech Szczesny. You are going to get two names, and we've got two names steady. That's Vicario and Karnaseki. Karnaseki posted here on the photo is the one that's the front runner, according to reports today, saying that Juventus has had multiple discussions in trying to lock up the signature already, and more talks will be happening. So Karnaseki seems to be the front runner based on the news and reports that we hear today. But again, that is constantly changing now again Karnaseki is the one that many many Juventini would like to see especially ahead of Vicario and whatnot but uh, life after Chesney Juventus is definitely working on it now don't uh, forget we have Perin locked up until 2025 which would help whoever they bring in to get integrated slowly Pinsolio sitting as a free agent currently as it stands will he get an extension or will we bring in in one of these keepers to start preparing for life after Chesney time will tell but that's your news break to today everybody hope you enjoyed the video again like the video subscribe to the channel all right and I'll be back more for some more updates but do not forget to get all your questions comments thoughts opinions in the comments section of this video so that we can mix it up all right till tomorrow's edition fino alla fine forza Juve ciao tutti